Well, we learned yesterday that Takashi 69 he will deny a plea deal if it's ever put on the table. His lawyer says this. He's gonna take, he will not take a plea deal and he will not speak about a couple guys that really wanted to take him out just a few weeks ago after his Breakfast Club interview. The real question is though, will he even get a fair trial after everything's playing out in the media? It's Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. Well, Takashi69, I mean, will he get a fair trial? I mean, with everything that he's been painted as, you know, this and that, and everyone's having their opinions on social media, including myself, right? I mean, every media outlet reports on this. So it's almost impossible to find a jury that hasn't heard about this, you know? And I don't I don't even see how he could get a fair trial at this point. He's probably just gonna be guilty to some degree. Um, and also nobody talks about the good he did while he was out, you know? Uh, you know, he gave back to a lot of people that didn't have it. Uh, he showed up to kid make a wish foundation people was some kids last wish was to see him and you know he, he just did a, he did some good out here and he it's almost like you know i know some a lot of people will be like yo what are you talking about jordan but like it's almost like you know he did trolling to give back at the same time i mean he made money did trolling to make money to give back you know he, he had a good heart uh and you know i'm sure that some of you be like oh my gosh but he's a child, da, 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 da. But like, listen, if you go look at that case, right? He had a girl in a video that was underage. They didn't really know. And then he took a, a deal uh, and they, the judge even admitted that dismissed this case that he took kind of an unfair deal because he didn't have that much money and everything. And, you know, they kind of admitted their wrongs as they dismissed, they didn't dismiss the charge. They just dismissed his, uh, well, he had uh, some probation. They dismissed the probation. Probation and said time served. Okay, uh, you know now he's in the feds. We don't know what's going to happen here. He's probably going to have to do a few years. You know, uh, mainly because he's probably not going to get a fair trial due to everything that's happening. You know, this is a very public case. I'm sure the feds love this case because it's really putting an example out there. I also wonder. Okay, everyone that was affili affiliated with Treyway, you got Fetty Wap who signed a Treyway allegedly. Then you got Skinny from the Nine. Are these guys going to be implicated at one point? That's what's scary about this. If I was, and I would, I would get a lawyer no matter what if I was around that whole thing because obviously every little move was being watched. Um, you know, hopefully a lot of these guys get off. It doesn't seem like they did that much, uh, to be honest with you. It seems kind of a uh, a different kind of case, you know, versus. Uh, a Rallo or an Arab, who again I believe should be, you know, shouldn't get such harsh punishment, but like they have like super evidence on those cases. It doesn't seem like they have as much evidence here. It's a lot of speculation. I don't know. What do you guys think? This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button. I'll check you guys on the next one. Appreciate you guys.